Okay, so to draw an ellipse with the travel method, we need to have a major axis and our minor axis. Trammel is a little piece of paper about 100 millimeters long that we're going to use to find our points. Line it up along the major axis as shown and mark off the length of the major axis. Also mark off the center point. Next, mark off the length of half the minor axis. Try and be accurate with this. To use this trammel to find points, we need to line our minor axis up against our major axis and our major axis dot up on the minor axis. That sounds confusing but look at the picture and it'll make sense. Minor dot on the major axis, major dot on the minor axis, the short line. And where you marked your center point is where you're going to find points on the curve. Move it around, make sure you line it up every single time. And you can find lots of points on the curve. You can add as many points as you want, or as few. The more points you add, the more accurate your ellipse will be. However, that will take longer time. I'd recommend four dots per quadrant. To draw the bottom half of your ellipse, again make sure you line up the minor point and the major point on the major and minor axes and draw your dots. Once you have the points found, you can join the curve. So freehand sketch the curve. Again, more dots makes it more accurate, but it does take a bit longer. When you're finished, make sure you add the trammel to the drawing sheet, and every sheet will need a new trammel. 